Hey everyone, here's a question on rectangle and square and the question is a rectangle and a square have a same perimeter 100 cm. Find the side of the square. If the rectangle has a breadth 2 cm less than that of the square, find the breadth, length and area of rectangle. So they are asking a lot in this question. So let's read the question once again. What is they have what they have given here? They have given that rectangle and square have a same perimeter which is 100 cm. So we know the perimeter of rectangle and square that is given. And they have given that find the okay we have to find out this find the side of the square and later they have given relationship that rectangle breadth is 2 cm less than that of square. And then we have to find out breadth, length and area of rectangle. Now first we are going to find out the side of the square. So we are going to go one by one. Let us not jump into everything at a time. First we are going to find out the side of the square. That's the first thing we have to know. And we know only one thing which is perimeter of rectangle and a square is 100 cm. Now since I have to find out the side of the square, I am going to use perimeter of square formula here. And using that I am going to find out the side. So what is given, here I'm going to first solve about the uh, square shape here and then later I'll go into the rectangle. So given perimeter of square, so perimeter of square is equal to 100 centimeter. Perimeter of rectangle is also 100 centimeter. Now since I'm talking about the square, that's why I've mentioned perimeter of square is 100 centimeter. Now, we have to find out the side of the square. Now, but what is perimeter of square? It is 4 into side. Yes. So this will be equal to 4 into side. So 4 into side is equal to 100. I have to find out the side. I am going to transpose 4 to the other side. Now 4 is in multiplication with side. When you transpose this to the other side, it comes in division. So side is equal to 100 divided by you can cancel the number in two table and again in two table again you can cancel this or you can directly cancel this in four table. If you don't know the cancellation you can go and divide the number. I'm going to cancel this in a four table directly. So this is four ones are four. So first we have a ten. Okay, Ten doesn't go in four table so, but eight goes. So four twos are eight. So from ten if I remove 8, I'll get 2. So this remainder 2, I'm going to put along with this 0. And then 20, it became 20. And 4 fives as 20. So I'll get here 5. And this 20 will get cancelled. So we got 25. If you divide, you'll get 25 again. So instead of dividing, I've just done cancellation. So therefore, we got side is equal to 25 centimeter. Yeah, we got this side. Now, using this, we're going to find out the breadth. See, one by one, we're going to solve. We have to find out the side of the square. We found that. Next, what they're asking, if rectangle has a breadth 2 cm less than that of square, means B will be equal to, the breadth will be equal to, what they're saying, breadth is 2 cm less than that of a side of the square. Side, we call it as 25. So from 25, I have to remove 2 because 2 cm less we have given. So breadth will be equal to 23 cm. See, we have got the second one also. Now, if we have to find out the length now. They have given find the breadth. We found the breadth of the rectangle. We have to now find out the length and then we have to find out the area of rectangle. Two more things we have to find out. Now, to do this, I have to jump into the perimeter once again. Now we don't have to use anything related to square. It's over. We have got the breadth of rectangle and we also know perimeter of rectangle is 100 cm. Using this two, we're going to find out the length. So let me erase the square part here. So let me rewrite the breadth. So we have got breadth is equal to 23 centimeter. And we know perimeter of rectangle. So perimeter of rectangle is equal to 2 into L plus B. Yeah. But what is perimeter? Perimeter is 100. We know from the questions given rectangle and peri square have a both 100 centimeter. So 100 will be equal to 
2 into now we have L plus B length I don't know so let me put L here and breadth we have just found it is 23 so 23 now you can open the bracket you can multiply 2 with L and again with 23 you can do in that way or you can transpose 2 to the other side because 2 is in multiplication it's 2 into L plus B right so when you transpose 2 to the other side it comes in division so 100 divided by 2 is equal to L plus 23 now we're going to cancel 100 and 2 2 ones are it is 2 fives are 10 1 0 is left so put the 0 so from here we got 50 is equal to L plus 23 now we have we have to find only L we don't want 23 on the right hand side I'm going to transpose this to the other side now 23 is in addition when transport comes in subtraction so 50 minus 23 is equal to L now when you subtract this two we'll get 27 so 27 is equal to length or you can write down L is equal to 27 centimeter see we got both now we have to find out the area that's the last question now I guess you can solve this one I'm gonna just give you the formula here I'm not gonna solve the area of rectangle we have got length and breadth now it's your turn to find out the area so we know length is equal to 27 centimeter and breadth is equal to 23 centimeter now we have to find out the area of rectangle I hope you know the formula of area of rectangle so area of rectangle is length into breadth now length is 27 so 27 multiplied by 23 now you have to find out the answer I'm not solving this and I hope you can do that you can multiply 27 and 23 and get the answer remember the unit will be in centimeter square don't write centimeter we're finding out the area so it will be centimeter square I hope this question is clear in case you have any further question or doubt you can drop a comment and you have any other question apart from this not related to this question any other question you can just type the question and I'll try to solve this thank you so much for watching